The new 988 suicide hotline is experiencing a near 50% increase in call volume since changing its number last month. That's according to the Department of Health and Human Services, which is also recommending anxiety screenings for all patients under 65. NBC 4's Jonathan Jackson has more on how symptoms of anxiety and depression are being addressed in Central Ohio. Jonathan. Yeah, Jared, since the start of the pandemic, concerns over suicide and mental health have skyrocketed. But here in Columbus, local mental health providers and counselors are working to address those issues directly. The suicide prevention hotlines are a wonderful resource um, and they can really be helpful in a crisis situation. In its first month, the new 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is already seeing a massive increase in call volume and messages of around 45%. The new data by the Department of Health and Human Services shows that the number of calls answered went up by 152,000. And it's a significant help to those mental health services here in Columbus. This person is calling on what is likely the worst, one of the worst days of their lives. And to have that caring, compassion, skilled, professional on the other end of that call really gives me a lot of peace of mind. That's Marion Stuckey, Section Chief for the Neighborhood Social Services with Columbus Public Health. She says they offer a variety of services within the community, including mental wellness events and community-based support groups. All things local psychologists say are crucial in addressing our nation's mental health crisis, especially since a federal panel recently announced the need for anxiety screenings in all adults under the age of 65 due to stress from the pandemic. What we would hope to see is a screening for depression or anxiety coupled with, here are some resources in the community that you might want to try out to help you feel better. Dr. Leslie Rudy is the director of the Psychological Services Center at Ohio State University. She says while more anxiety screenings is a good first step, it's getting patients the treatment needed afterwards that will help solve the issue, which is what her department is working to do. In the psychology department, we have the Psychological Re um, Services Center, which provides treatment to people in the community free of charge. Now, the city of Columbus also has their own 911 service for mental health calls. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll introduce you to one of the dispatchers working in that unit. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.